Well, good evening. How are you all doing this evening? So, I have a versus video tonight. Klein versus Vera. Okay, so it's USA versus Germany again, guys. Um, right, so where do I begin? Where do I begin? Right, firstly, I've got to say this isn't a fair comparison at all. Okay, um, these are, are very different designs, I must say. Um, and the Vera is the ratcheting one. So, but guys, I'm not flipping made of money. I can't go out buying, you know, equal tools of everything, you know. Um, if any of you want to send me any tools, then feel free. I will do more. But you know what? We're going to, for, for the purposes of this video, okay, this is just an impression, first impressions video, yeah. We're going to forget this is a ratcheting screwdriver, okay. And we're just going to turn it off. There we are. No, it's not a ratcheting screwdriver. There we go. Right. And this is the Klein version, okay? This is the Klein 11-in-1 screwdriver. They're very different. They're uh, designed very, very differently, but they are uh, they're competitors. Klein and Vera are competitors, so um, we're going to review them. So, um, everybody raves about this Klein screwdriver. Everybody raves about it. Um, everyone you see who does an American review has got one of these Klein 11-in-1s. And that's why I bought one. I thought they must be pretty good. Um... And one way it is really good, actually, is its price. Um, it's cheap. Um, I got this for under £20. Uh, I think I paid about £17.99 for it. Whereas the Vera was about uh, £26. And I got that on offer at Tool Station. Okay. Um, it's normally, um, I want to say, in the 30s. Okay, that's how, that's how much it normally is. Now, I'm just going to tell you straight off, guys. Um I don't know what all the fuss is about this, about what why everyone raves so much about this Klein 11 in one. Okay, I really don't know what all the fuss is about. Um, it's okay. Where do I begin? Okay, so the first thing is, yeah, when you use it, the bits fall out. Okay, the bits come out when you use it. That's flipping irritating. Okay, now it's designed in this way. You take these bits out, and you have a double sided one there, and you've got a nut driver in there. You've got another double-sided one there, okay? You've got a nut driver there, and you've got the same on the other end. Now, the thing I don't get about it, it's called the 11 in one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Um, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13 tools there, okay? Now, if these aren't counted as tools, these bits here, then you've only got nine. So I don't really get what's with the non-counting there. I mean, have I got this wrong here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't even know how many tools are in this thing. I'm just... It's just perpetually confusing. I mean, how many tools does the thing go? I mean, it says it's 11, so we'll just grace it with 11. But, you know, I, I've counted more tools than this. So um, the other thing is, for the British buyer, you can't really get um, British sizes. You can't get, like, posies and stuff in here. Um, now, I've tried fitting some posy sort of screws into this. Um, to sort of, you know, if I just take the one out of the wheel of there. And you try and put a posy in it instead. The problem you get is the it just gets buried in there and just falls out. So you know it it doesn't work. So you can't change the you can't change the ends in it either. Um, the quality of this as well. I mean, this is very lightweight. Um, you can peel the rubber back on it, and I'm pretty sure after a while this will just slide off after a bit of wear and tear. It seems to stay on at the moment. And if you look inside there, now can you see that? Let's focus. You can see like all the molded glue. Can you see that? How it's just stuck on with glue there. And you can see all the dried in glue inside it. Um, and you're like, well, this is a Klein. This is supposed to be the, the American dream. This is it's supposed to be the height, the quality. This one's only assembled in America, not made in America, as you can see there. Um, but it's, you know, it's nice, it's comfortable to use, um, but like I say, when I use it, the end tends to fall out. It gets stuck in the screw and the end falls out. Everything's a bit too flimsy. 
Um, I mean, it's look how easy that just falls out. Um, so, you know, I bought this and I wanted to like this because everybody just raves about it, but I, I'm not a big fan of this too. I gotta be, it's not great. It's really not great. Um, you know, it works all right as a screwdriver, but I certainly don't feel like it's a, it's a premium item. Now I've got some made in the USA, um, thousand volt screwdrivers they're not multi-tools and they've got a similar handle to this but they're actually made in the usa and they really do feel premium they are really nice so whether this is just because it's the only assembled in america one i don't know but they do a ratchet inversion of this as well which is similar but it's got a metal end on it um and it's a bit more expensive um but this system here is the same um and if that system there's the same um a, you're not going to be a big fan of it from the British engineer point of view that I can't get the bits easily for it. You'd have to buy extra bits and then, like, where'd you keep the bits? And, you know, you just end up losing them. Um, and also for, if they fall out to the end as well when I'm using them, I, I think I'll find that quite irritating. Um, and, yeah, this this wasn't as well, you know, doing something that was high torque or whatever. It was just, it was just a case of, you know, you know, I was I was just taking some nuts out of the front of a fire panel with the torque end. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give this a thumbs down. I'm sorry. Um, I don't like the quality of, the, of it there, with all the glue leaking out of it, the plastic. It's just not a great tool. This, on the other hand, is a great tool. It is very, very high quality. Um, now, I've held the snap-on uh version of this um the ratchet and day ratchet and screwdriver and it just looks cheap compared to this um i love that it's got your standard end on it okay your standard quarter inch drive end on it and you can just put any piece you like in it into that in fact what i use it for i've got the um vera tool check plus okay and i can put literally any part of that onto this it's just linear it's standard you know it, you can just fit anything on it it's got a shaft on it, a metal shaft, which is really nice because you can get a spanner onto that to get some extra torque if you need it. Um, disadvantage I could say about it um, is that you know you could put a longer you could put a longer screw on the end of it, I suppose, to get rid of this. But you know sometimes if you want to get in somewhere thin, this part here, this shank might get a little bit in your way if you wanted to put it into somewhere thin. But then you could put a longer nut on it, I suppose. Um, and a lot of the time I keep this end on it with the magnet on the end which you can remove if you want to and you know that just gives you a bit of a longer shank on it as well okay um you can add an extension to the end of this just because they've had this linear this linear end in here now the client has that the client has that size in it but because they've designed it with this long shank so you can only put those double-ended ones in it you can't get your normal stuff in there which is you know they've tried to be clever but it's not that clever and I think they brought out a newer version of this now, which has, um, you can keep the bits in here. And this is another part of the Wira, which is just great. You do that, and all your bits are kept nicely in the screwdriver there. And they're kept, you know, they're nicely in there. They don't fall out, they don't move around, they don't rattle. See, they don't rattle at all. Um, and the spring loading mechanism is a really nice quality. You see how the, you can see the movement on that, can't you? It's very, very nice. Now, handle preference. Um, I wouldn't say this handle's any better. I mean, I don't tend to hold a screwdriver like that as it's designed to do. I tend to hold it like that, but whatever way you hold this, it does feel comfortable. Now, people either love or hate the Vera handles, but because this is such a big chunky handle as well, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. So it's like people love the 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 Viha one sometimes because they're big chunky fat handles and they're comfy to hold, but this one has that as well. So it's the best of both worlds. Now the Klein's got a really comfortable handle as well. That's one thing I do really like about it. Um, I do like this rubberized comfortable handle, whereas the wearer has got sort of like a hard plastic handle which scratches a lot more easier than the Klein's. Um, but it's got these soft indentations in it as well. Now, I know this review is going to anger a lot of people, but sometimes, you know, there is just one tool that's clearly better, okay? The the wearer is longer, you can get more torque on it, um, you know, and bearing in mind when I'm saying all this, you can get the Klein version of this, but it's similar to this, okay, but it's just got a metal shank with the gears in, okay? I don't think it's that much longer than this or anything. It's a very, very similar design to this, okay? Um, but wait, but I've not compared the ratchets. Obviously, I've not talked. I've not said, oh, this is better because it ratchets. Okay, I've not said that. All right. Um, 
and you can get wearer versions of this as well without the ratchet on it uh, with a similar sort of design there and um, it's sometimes like i say one tool is just better than the other and in my opinion and i always have to say in my opinion this is just a superior tool to that it is more expensive i'll give klein that it's just a better tool i don't think this is a patch on this and anyone who says raves about these 11 in ones i feel like it's because they haven't had a vera um this is more compact i guess it takes up less room in your bag it's uh not lighter than the vera believe it or not it's actually not lighter even though the vera is bigger and i think i just think the vera is just a better design it's got your press button on the end there um yeah i just prefer it and the quality just feels better on the vera um now your shank does wobble about a bit but i haven't found a screwdriver that it doesn't um with um the ratchet on it Whereas the Klein feels a little bit more solid that way, but it's a shorter shank and a thicker shank. So because you've got this nice big shank in it there, you've got a nice little solidity in that. So that's a nice little advantage of the Klein. But when it actually comes to the handle itself, that will last you forever. But I'm not sure that handle is going to be, is going to last anything like that. I think eventually that will split in there. It's got like that metal in a case there, but it only goes up can you just see that how far it goes up you can see where it turns to the yellow inside so it doesn't go up that way as this shank goes um this shank feels like it's not going to break because you turn it so far and then it just locks and there's no wobble on it then so as soon as you start turning it and putting pressure on it it locks really solid so you know i don't think even though that wobbles a bit now i don't think it's going to break or anything um so whereas the Klein has got uh, you know a good strong solid base in that part of it it's i feel let down a little bit by this part of it um so yeah um i don't know what you guys think about this whether you agree with me or whether you think i'm just talking absolute rubbish but i do think the vera has made the superior tool here um with regards to screwdriver quality klein do make some nicer screwdrivers than the, than this one i will say um like i say the american made um insulated ones of this style with the orange there they're just beautiful lovely lovely screwdrivers and this here feels a lot better you certainly don't see any glue or anything on that now bearing in mind as well guys um and you know I, as far as i'm aware vera don't give a particularly good warranty either um i think you just get a year um klein ain't gonna give me a lifetime warranty on this so you can't come back to me and say oh yeah but if you break it klein will just replace it they don't not in the uk um your american tools you get your american warranties warranties we don't get that in the uk their hand tools like the cutters and stuff yes they have a lifetime warranty on it um but not tools like this you buy this off amazon and so if you send it back to client is broken there's no lifetime warranty on this for the uk customers as far as i'm aware if i'm wrong let me know if anyone who knows client watches this let me know like and don't get me wrong don't get me wrong this isn't a bad screwdriver you know this is better than say if you go and buy like a cheap screwdriver you know don't get me wrong it, or, or a lower sort of brand screwdriver but it's just been surpassed by this this one is a particularly good one this vera this is a really nice screwdriver um with flaws um, i do think with some flaws um but I, I think it has just been surpassed by this one. I think this one is, for me, an exceptional screwdriver. But you guys may have had different experiences. You may have one of these and you've lasted for years and years. I'm sure I'm going to get people telling me, oh, I've had my, I've had my clan for 47 years and it's never, never missed a beat, never broke, I've never broken an end on it, you know. Uh, again, forgive me my awful American accent. Um, feel free to, walk, to mock my Welsh one in return. Um, yeah, but um, then the Vera ones, you know, I'm sure I'll get people saying, oh, I had mine for a week and it just snapped and it was rubbish and no one would warranty it. But this is just my personal experience of it, okay? And I do feel, as I've said, the, the Vera just surpasses the Klein in every way. Um, so this one stays in my sort of spare tool bag and this one stays in my main tool bag. So that's my thoughts for what they're worth on these two screwdrivers. Um, and I will say... I could put another Vera tool against another Klein tool and the Klein may win the battle quite well. Um, but for these particular ones, this is my winner. I always like to have a winner. I don't like to say, oh, it's personal preference, because that's just boring. Who wants to do that? This one's my winner in this case. Okay. Um, so please, guys, like and subscribe or dislike.
but please still subscribe. Um, let me know your comments. Um, I try to answer all your comments, so um, I do my best. So please do my best to give me have a, have a talk. That's what I do for. I love the chat. I love the tool talk. Um, thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. Hit the bell icon to get uh, immediate uh, uh, immediate notifications of when I do a new video. And I'll try and put some more on. Thank you very, very much for listening, guys. Have a good evening and take care of all of you out there. Bye-bye.